sacrifice. If we get this one in, it's no good. You can see how small the gap is here, but this feeler gauge won't quite fit in the gap, which is good news, because that's the wrong size. Two five. Yeah, look at that. That's good. The measurement of 0.25 millimeters just fits in the gap. 30 won't. 30 won't. Yeah. 30 won't, but even if 30 did, we would have been all right because it says it goes up to 30. So that's, oh, right. so that's, that's Bob on. Mid range, yeah. We're reusing piston rings, guys. Now we've got to do that, but for the other three on that one, and that one, and that one, 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 that one. This is a long process. There's three piston rings per cylinder, and we've got to check each one. It does take a lot of time, but if we get this wrong, we could have a really smoky engine. So it's worth taking the time to do it. And once we're happy with the rings, we can apply them to the pistons. Then we're also going to measure the float of the piston ring in its recess, which also has a spec. 1.5 goes in, so that is within spec. Yeah, that is, that is within spec, that's right, isn't it? Because the maximum we could have is 0 0.2, and we are 0 0.15. On to the next one. It seems that old pistons should be okay. They all measure to spec. So I'm transferring all of the old piston rings off the old pistons which were in the Mercedes block onto the pistons which were in the DBX block. Pistons are going in and the arrow on the piston goes towards the front.